Hi everyone and uh, welcome to some bonus material on this channel and I will thank you so much for watching because this is more of a private video actually this will be about symbolic art or expressive art if you like to call it like that but uh, we work also with symbols inside the expressive art so yeah I will talk about that a little later in the video. This is a way for me to challenge myself not to stay where I am, to always develop myself, also be aware of what happened inside me and how I feel and what I need and so on. And this is actually a painting uh, that you will see further on in another episode of this bonus material and if you are interested in following just this part under playlist you will find a playlist that's called symbolic art and there you will find all episodes about this i am standing right here when i'm painting and i also have my materials here you can't see so much of them but it's like this for all the colors and some sponge and yeah, you will also hear about all the other materials. But if you don't have one like this, you can always use just a plastic plate or something. Don't just hesitate to paint because you don't have exactly what you need. So it's better to paint than not to paint if you're interested in trying this. I will not share everything with you in these episodes because one part is to paint and that gives me very much because when I paint there is something happening inside of me but there is also more work behind it after you have painted then I work with the symbols and this part is for me too private so I will keep it for myself a little bit maybe I will share it with you sometime but but not for now I will take you through what symbolic art means to me and if you keep on watching these bonus materials it won't be as long as this video it will be shorter but this time I wanted to explain more what uh, kind of work it is to work with symbolic art I have uh, had education to work with symbols in different ways and this is one of the ways it's a huge tool for self-development to get to know yourself so much better and also companies that for example are going to expand and want to be sure that they are on the right path they can also use this kind of tools to have not only the economical structural and physical planning on the right path but also the soft values of the employees and the company. From the education we are four of us that still paint together even if we live far apart. This is really rewarding for us and we have been doing it in different ways over the years. And if I should explain a bit how it works, the way we work with expressive art and symbols, it has the advantage to take you behind your own social barriers that you usually act and talk behind and you act from what you can call your true self maybe. For the preparation uh, you need some colors like acrylic, crayons or colored pencils or whatever you have that you can paint with. If you paint with wet paint like acrylics it's important to prepare with some small amount of paint in the basic colors like red, blue and yellow. But it's also good to have a small amount of green, black and white, I think. You can use a lot of materials to paint with, such as paint brushes, your own fingers, that's amazing, fabrics, sponge, or other things that you feel like using. Use your imagination. And you also need some kind of paper or canvas to paint on. A large size is to prefer 
And water in a small container is also good to have if you use wet paint like acrylics. Now you're ready to start actually. And the key to symbolic art is to paint the feeling of something. Yeah, I know, <laughs> this is really hard. Um, how can I paint a feeling? Yeah, but if I ask you to close your eyes and answer me what color happiness have and what shape it has. Is it round, edgy, large, small? You can probably answer me on all of these things. This is about how it works. We paint the first thing that comes up in our minds. No matter what, we don't judge the first thing that comes to our minds. We just paint and it should go fast. This is not an hour painting. It should be ready in about five to 10 minutes. As we work with symbols, it can also be in a different way, not only painting, of course. It could be like sculpturing, writing, dancing, music and more. But for this period of symbolic art, I paint and uh, my husband Lasse wanted to create music to the same words as I painted. And this is really rewarding for us to look at the painting and listening to the music at the same time. And this is something I want to share with you. Every Sunday, we all four get a sentence from one in the group at six o'clock Swedish time. We take turns to send one and then we paint together, even if we are so far apart. And this is amazing. It feels like we are close at this time. And Lasse, my husband, is making music to the same sentence. So as a bonus material on this channel, I will share the sentences with you and also the paintings and the music. I hope you will enjoy it. And if you have more questions about symbolic art, you can comment below and I will answer as good as I can. And actually, this time, to this sentence, there was two pictures that was coming to me. So, the first one was the blue one that you have seen in the video, and also this one with warmer colors. And I think the reason why it became two is because I have two winters, one in Sweden and also one in Turkey. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell. Then you will have a notification every time I post something here. And if you like this video or this kind of video, please give me a thumb up also. So bye bye and see you next time.